for me, a lot of people ask me, you know, when did I decide to be a butcher? But I think butchering is part of my DNA. On my mum's side of the family, it goes back five generations. It's part of who we are. I think we're very privileged to be where we are on the planet. I think, you know, nature has been very kind to us. We have a wonderful natural resource here, which is grass. And great grass-fed beef is a wonderful asset to this country, and it's world class. For me, uh, being a butcher is about an unusual suite of skills, understanding the environment, understanding your product, which is the animal you're rearing, and understanding when it's laid down enough fat and ripe for slaughter. I think the sacrifice the animal pays is, is the ultimate sacrifice, and I think we need to be respectful in how we slaughter that animal. I think happy, relaxed cattle make for great beef. The next set of skills is understanding the maturation of it, where the natural enzyme breaks down the muscle fiber and develops the key to it all, which is flavor. The meat actually ages on the bone. I think at the heart of Avoca and at James Whelan Butchers is a quality product, and we sing off the same sheet, so it's a perfect marriage. We fundamentally share the same values and beliefs. For us, it's about uh, excellence, it's about great tasting food, there is a difference in this product. You know, good meat is an investment in your future health and well-being. What we do here is something that's gone on for generations. An individual approach, an artisan approach. The animal has been reared or finished here on the farm, and that's terribly important that we maintain that.